Hi friends, this is Jarle. Thanks for joining. I created this colorful summer themed card and I hope you'll enjoy. Now let's dive right into today's card making project. I have to confess, I didn't really know where I was going with this project when I sat down to create. Um, I just knew I really wanted to use this Flamingo Floaty from Lawn Fawn again. So I started by die cutting all the different pieces. Um, the Flamingo was die cut out of uh, Lawn Fawn Ballet Slippers cardstock. And then I used Guava for that uh, back piece of the floaty, um, so that overlooking piece. And then I used White for the beak and some uh, black licorice cardstock as well. For some added interest, I uh, did some ink blending uh, on the Flamingo uh, with worn lipstick in regular Distress Ink. And I did this with a mini ink blending brush from Tailored Expressions. So I have a whole set of these mini blending brushes that are uh, actually dedicated uh, to using these with uh, regular Distress Inks or uh, other dye inks. I assembled that whole flamingo with liquid glue um, just because liquid glue always gives me just a little bit of wiggle room so if the placement isn't just right I can always adjust it. Now one of the free goodies uh, that you got at Cloud9 Craft Store with the latest summer release from Lawn Fawn was actually a sort of a flamingo floaty. Um, it was a tiny floaty to put in your drinks when you were laying in the pool. Um, and I actually noticed that flamingo in my craft room and I decided I wanted to pull out uh, this flamingo floaty die set. So that's actually where the inspiration of today's card came from. With my Copic markers I added in some blushy cheeks as well. Um, so I used R22 and R30 for this. And then I also added in some white gel pen details as well, just on those cheeks, on the sunglasses and on the beak. And this is the finished flamingo. I think it's super super cute. So now it's time to work on the background. Uh, I used Bristol Smooth cardstock for my uh, card panel uh, because I was going to be doing some ink blending. And I die cut it with the stitched rectangles from Lawn Fawn. So my card panel is four and a quarter by five and a half inches at this point. Then I took out the beach sunset stencils also from Lawn Fawn. Um, I think there are two in the package, but um, I only used this one, so this one stencil with the sunset. Um, I placed everything on my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station and I masked off the bottom with Heffy Doodle masking tape. So this is a nice and wide tape. Um, and then I took out my Distress Oxides uh, in the colors Squeezed Lemonade and Mustard Seeds. Um, and I actually did the whole sun with squeezed lemonade because this is a um, somewhat lighter and brighter color. And then for the edges I went in with mustard seeds um, and I used a small ink blending brush for this. Uh, this is the Pink Fresh Studio one um, and this one was the half inch size. And I just did this on the edges of that sun. This kind of creates an interesting look so it's not all the same plain color. Um, so these small blending brushes are perfect for that. Then I removed the stencil and I worked on the rest of the background and I did this with uh, Spun Sugar Distress Oxide ink. Um, this is a nice and a soft color um, and I blended this color all around the sun. And I didn't really bother going to the bottom of the card just because I was going to cover it up with uh, the waves. 
Here I went in with the picked raspberry, which is a darker pink color. Um, and here I used a small blending brush again, um, or an, a small blending tool really, um, from um, Pink Fresh Studio here again, um, just on the edges. Um, and I use these blending uh, tools for my oxides and the mini tailored expressions ones uh, for my regular dye inks. Just uh, because it's best that you use just one brush for dye inks and another brush for oxide inks. Um, so don't mix them up because the ink formulation is different. So I have uh, a few tools for my dye inks and a few blending tools for my oxides. Now I did switch between the picked raspberry and the sponge sugar just to avoid uh, harsh lines so uh, that blend is kind of smoother uh, between all the different colors. So when all the ink blending was done, I put my panel in the splatter box um, and I put on a scratch piece of paper to cover the sun. Um, and then I splattered on my Perfect Pearls solution. So I have some water in a mini mister bottle and a couple of scoops of Perfect Pearls. Um, so this is actually a... Uh, solution that I use on all my cards, I think, um, because it gives it uh, some pearlescent splatters. Um, and here I am just blotting it off with a paper towel. For the next step, I used the stitched wavy borders from Lawn Fawn, so there are three of those. Um, and I die cut another piece out of that stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn. So I have that uh, little piece right there, and then I put my or I place my three wavy borders on top to die cut them all at once. Um, I had my inked panel on the left there just to see where all the waves would go um, and then I ran everything through my die cutting machine. And then I started my ink blending on all of those waves and I did this with uh, salvaged patina as the base color which is a beautiful beautiful blue and I thought it worked well with the pink on the top of the cards. Um, so I did these, or, or I did this for all three of the borders. And then on all of the edges of the wavy borders, I used Salty Ocean, again using a Pink Fresh Studio blending uh, tool. And I just went back over it again. So when I did this um, ink blending over the edge, after that, I went back in with the bigger blending brush and the salvaged patina, again to get this uh, smooth, smooth blend. Um, for all three of those borders, I did the exact same thing. Then, of course, here I had to splatter on some perfect pearls as well. Um, but I also went in with a Salty Ocean. So I put my Salty Ocean Oxide ink pad on a stamping block. I diluted it with some water and I splattered it on my wavy borders with a paintbrush. So I did this for again for uh, all these uh, three borders and I set it aside to dry. Now as you see me here working on the placement of the waves, uh, you can definitely see that I went back in with the yellow and the pink color. Um, just because the waves didn't cover enough, so there was a wide gap there. Um, and I thought I would just ink over it and see how it looked. Um, but because I masked it off with tape, um, there was a line between the top and the bottom ink blending. And I really didn't like the way it looked, um, because you could definitely uh, keep seeing that harsh line. Um, so just ink blending over uh, that white area really didn't help. So what I decided to do was I went a little bit higher with my waves to cover that up. So there wasn't any wide gap anymore. Um, so my waves 
um, ended up higher on the panel than I planned it to be. So the sun is actually covered up some more than I planned in the beginning. So the consequence of this was that the bottom wave border didn't reach that bottom of my ink blended panel. So you can see that bottom wave border is just a little bit higher than the bottom of the panel. Um, but I decided no problem, um, I will just trim that off later. Um, so the actual card turned out to be um, four and a quarter by five and a quarter instead of five and a half. Um, so I went in with the stencil again uh, to add in the three birds and then here I trimmed off that tiny little white sliver. So no one will ever know that this was a mistake. And then I could adhere my um, beautiful flamingo floaty with some foam squares for dimension. And I, uh, since this was the star of the show, um, I just put that flamingo in the middle of my cards. Then for my sentiment, I used the Simply Celebrate Summer stamp set because it had a fun sentiment saying um, have, a, um, have a happy summer. Yeah. Um, so I prepped my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool, uh, also from Tailored Expressions, and I stamped my sentiment in Versamark ink using my brand new beautiful black mini Misty. Um, and then I sprinkled on some white embossing powder and I tapped off the excess. And then off camera I heat set it with my heat gun. And then of course I used my everyday sentiment banners to die cut that sentiment out straight. Um, and then I could pop it up with foam squares as well. Um, and I adhered it at the bottom of this um, panel. For my card base, um, I used just some regular white cardstock um, and I scored and folded it at five and a half inches because this would give me a top folding card. And then I adhered the whole card panel with Gina K tape runner onto that white card base. And here again I had to trim off that bottom piece uh, because my card panel wasn't the whole five and a half inches. And I used my paper trimmer for this. And this finishes off my card for today. I love the happy colors on this. Thank you so much for watching. If you love this project, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more card making tutorials. Until next time, happy crafting! Bye!